Hello the internet, my name is Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the plants that I got during the month of January. At least I'm pretty sure they're the plants I got during January. I forgot to write, <laughs> write down and I got so many. Truthfully what happened was I wasn't expecting to get any plants this month because I had spent so much on plants in December and then that didn't actually hold up. So I never wrote down what plants I got. And so I'm just kind of going through my collection and being like, I think I didn't show that one in last month's video. So if I, if I miss some, I miss some, I mean, it's, it's, I'm sorry. I know you guys would love to see all the stuff that I get, but I will be showing you most of the stuff that I got. So This first guy, I actually probably, I technically got at the end of last month and then forgot to put it on last month's video. This was a Christmas gift. My boss got this for me. She knows that I'm doing the YouTube channel and that I'm into plants and they, she was like, what do you want for Christmas? I was like, get me plants. So she got me this adorable little arrangement. It's been upstairs, which is kind of why I forgot about it and also why it's like leaning because I, I was testing out the sunlight that's in my bedroom and mm, it's, it's okay, it's not great. Obviously succulents are a little picky and because it was up there, it's, I haven't been caring for it as much as I really should have. Um, so this little, whatever it is, I don't know. I haven't really seen one of these before. It's doing very, very poorly. Um, so I'm probably going to it sometime this month. And it, it's also one of the ones that doesn't have a drainage hole. So I've been watering it, but only a little bit because I don't want to, you know, overwater it. And so it's probably suffering a little bit from lack of water. But I'm going to sometime this month before too long. Uh, there's not much time left in this month. Sometime in the near future. I will be pulling the plants out of here and putting them into proper soil because I don't even know what's going on with this soil. I mean, it's still got this like moss stuff on top. I don't even know. Weird. I guess it's supposed to be some sort of a covering, but it just looks dry. Um, but anyway, so there are two Echeverias here, Echeveria, Echeveria an aloe of some variety, and I don't think I have this particular aloe before, or I have this particular aloe, and I'm gonna guess it's some sort of crassula, but I have no idea. Um, just the shape of it looks crassula-y, crassula-ish to me. Um, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to save that because it's actually pretty cool looking. I might have already lost this one, but this other one here is still okay. But anyway, there's one of those plants. Let's see. And then you guys also know that I did my first plant mail last uh, last month. And so a lot of those plants obviously are going to be here. Um, you may or may not know that I've been having, if you watched my Haworthia video, you were aware that I was having some trouble with them um, with root rot. And so right now I have them sitting in some sphagnum moss and the sphagnum moss is oddly enough look at those two adorable little growth points I am like a super fan of sphagnum moss um, it's getting a little dry now because I don't have it covered but that was the Horthia spexii and then the Horthia fairy washboard are both in here and then my variegated um, cooper eyes they're looking kind of rough right now but I am very encouraged that was the first time I had pulled him out of this moss and the fact that he's got some new roots growing in the moss is like super exciting I'm very very happy about that okay um other plants from that plant hall oh, my little Lola who is looking so adorable in this pot she's stretching out just a little bit because um I don't have, I have grow lights. I don't have as great of 
light as I could have. So she's a little stretched out, but she's still adorable and compact, and I'm so happy, and she seems to be doing fine on water, so that is also a good thing. I have this Echeveria Proposum, which has just kind of been chilling. Um, it hasn't really needed to be watered, so luckily I didn't do the same overwatering thing that I did with the others. Um, but this guy is just kind of chilling out, not really doing much growing, but that really isn't bothering me as long as he's healthy. And then once I get him, you know, we get into spring and summer and he can go outside, I'm sure he will grow. So, looking good. Uh, my adenium, not looking so great because all the leaves fell off, but I was expecting that and I've got a little bit of live growth on the end of here so I know he's not not dead. I checked to make sure the roots are all right and I'm pretty sure he's just chilling out possibly for the winter. So I'm just kind of letting him go. When I start to see new growth, I'll, I probably won't water until I start to see new growth or it starts to look really, really shriveled, whichever comes first. But super excited about this guy because I'm excited about it growing and uh, eventually flowering. All right, I got that beautiful Crimson Princess from the mail order. It came with gorgeous roots. I mean like gorgeous roots and I freaking root rotted it. I know, I am really learning about overwatering this winter. Like I'm hoping by next winter I will be super amazing. So anyway, I had to pull off the roots and I am I am attempting to reroot these and these aren't all the pieces they gave me I was surprised at how many plants I got I think I got six or seven plants and they were all rooted beautifully like this is not the the seller's fault at all this was I got them and then I overwatered them um, so I'm really really happy that the plants are as healthy as they are because it means that even though I nearly killed the roots um, they should have enough strength, hopefully, to just reroot themselves, and then I will be much more careful with watering in the future. What else do I have over here? Oh. My little Ophusa hybrid, which is doing fine on the roots, but I think I gave it entirely too much sun. It would, or too much sun. I put it under my grow light, and. It was just chilling under there, and now it has kind of turned gray. Um, I'm not sure that that's something I've seen before, but the only thing, because the roots are fine, I've checked on that. It's not, the, that's fine. I think I gave it too much sun, and I think it's just, it's very stressed out, and it all kind of curled in on itself. So I've taken it and put it by my window, so that it doesn't have any grow light on it anymore. Um... I know technically these guys don't need a lot of light, but the the other um, Haworthias that I got and have had under there have been doing fine with the light. So I'm not sure. This guy, I guess, just might be a little extra sensitive. Um, so he is in recovery and hopefully, I mean, it, it doesn't look like he's dying in any way except that, the, that he kind of turned gray. So if I... If I, if I didn't know he was supposed to be green, I would actually be kind of impressed by the... Because it kind of looks like a dark gray and then the windows are like silver. So it looks really, really cool. <laughs> I just know it's supposed to be green. So we're going to take care of him and get him back to being green. I have my adorable little string of dolphins, which... It's kind of interesting because I assume that this was some sort of a um, cutting, but the the leaves up at the very top are don't have the dolphin shape on them. And then as you get further down the the stem, like they become more and more dolphin-like until the ones at the end. Uh, I guess especially here, like these ones at the end here, really look like the dolphin thing. So. I'm not sure why that is, but I think it's kind of cute that that these ones aren't 
dolphin-y, and then these ones are. I don't know why I think that's cute, but I do. And he is doing really, really well. Um, I'm so glad that I finally got a string of dolphins because they're just so cute. Like, they just are. I mean, the little shape is just adorable. And it was a, it was a, a nice price, too, for it because I've, I've seen it at other places and it's always really, really expensive. Um, so I am hoping that this guy does really well. I've got, you know, uh, once it gets long, I can start propagating it and like fill up my little tub and it will be great. All right, this is a plant that hasn't been in any videos yet. My friend gave me, my friend gave me a little bit of money for Christmas and told me to go out and buy plants. <laughs> and so technically some of her money went into the mail order and then, but this was the other thing that I found. And this was a, or this is a um, aloe pink blush. And it has like three babies in here. This baby's actually pretty big. Um, but the mother plant is doing really well. And I am waiting to repot it at the end of the summer. But I mean, it does at least have drainage in this, this thing. So um, it's doing really well. Some of the leaves were kind of damaged when I got it. There, I had a choice of like five of them. Um, and this was the one that I ended up going with because it had the babies and the, the leaves were actually in the best shape. Um, but I was actually kind of surprised to find a pink blush this big. And it doesn't have the coloring really, really well. I mean, there's some of these little edges you can kind of see the pink. Um, but I assume, I haven't had it under a grow light either. It's been upstairs because I want to look at it. So I assume once it either goes out in the sun or eventually I put it under a grow light, the pink will probably come out a little bit more. Um, but for right now, I'm just enjoying it and letting it grow, so. All right, this is my little variegated jade plant that I actually found at my grocery store. Uh, I walked in and saw it and it was only $2.99 for this tiny little guy. And I have been wanting a variegated jade for a while, just because the variegated is pretty and it's one of those ones I know that eventually you can grow into the really big bush, so that is my goal with this guy, is to eventually grow it into a really big bush. I know, gotta start somewhere. Um, but the reason that I picked this one is because it already had the two growth points um, most of the other ones were just, you know, the one stem. So we'll see how that guy goes. He's doing pretty well. And if you've been watching my Instagram, you've probably seen a bit of this guy, but this is the variegated, um, Abtofusa, something ob because of the round leaves, um, Peperomia that I got. Um, I walked into my Home Depot it was the only one that was there, and it was so gorgeous that I just had to take it home. Uh, I was not supposed to be buying any plants at the time. You know how that one goes. But, I, I mean, I just couldn't, I couldn't pass this up. I, I have never seen more gorgeous variegation on any plant in my life. Um, like, well, like in person. I've seen plenty of videos of really pretty album on stairs and, um, Syngonium, Albo Syngoniums that are really pretty, but this is just, I'm really, really impressed with this. And it's got a decent amount of green on it as well. A lot of the leaves are actually doing a, a decent amount of green, so it should grow fairly well. I think this leaf was much smaller when I got it, and this leaf, and I think these, le these little leaves existed, but they've been getting bigger too, so. I'm not sh quite sure how fast it's going to grow, but we'll see. Um, and eventually it will go outside. Oh, and this was one, it said that it was $4, and when I rang it up, it was only $2.50. So, I mean, like, that for $2.50. Very, very nice plan. Um, 
And I think that that is everything. I'm pretty sure that that's everything. Like I said, I didn't make a list, so I actually have no idea. Um, if I come up with any other plants that, you know, I'll stick them in next month's video. So if you enjoyed seeing my plant haul for this month, you can go ahead and give me a like. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and or go over to my Instagram page and subscribe to me on there. I would really like to thank you for choosing to spend your time with me today. And I will see you in my next video. All right. Bye-bye.